Hello and welcome to this video on new features for our latest release of APDL. In this release, we're excited to announce features to help commuters get to and from work. As you can see here, I'm on the trip view for an upcoming trip. We've added a row to, at the top for a commute to work, as well as a row at the bottom for your commute from work. Before we get started on this, let's go to the settings area and set up commute options. You want to go to the uh, airline section and then scroll to the bottom and you will see commute area. If you're a commuter you want to enable this commute option here and then you will set up what your home airport is that you normally commute from. In this case I've set up Tampa as my home commute airport. You have two options here for commute to and commute home ground time. What this does is tells APDL how much time before your report time on your first day of your trip as well as how much time after your arrival time on the last day of your trip you would like APDO to start searching for flights that will allow you to commute to and from your home airport. So in this case I've set zero and what that means is it will for the commute to my domicile on the first day of my rotation will show me flights that arrive up to zero minutes prior to my arrival to, um, prior to my report time for my trip. If I set this to 30 minutes, it will only show me flights that will arrive at least 30 minutes prior to my report time for my trip. The same goes for commute home. I have it set for zero, so in this case it will, it will show me flights that depart zero minutes after my scheduled arrival time for my trip on my last day. So you could add this 30 minutes an hour to give yourself plenty of time. In my case I wanted to see all the possible options and choose which one best fits my circumstances for that particular day. For example if I was to get in early on the last day. And then tracked flights. This starts at 3 uh, for default. You can go in and change that to 2 or 1 or whatever it is that you like if your airline requires a certain number of flights to be used as a commuter policy. For example, uh, I believe two is a pretty common number. If you want to have a backup flight for your commute um, to work, you can set this to tell APDL how many flights to search for in the uh, default search for your commute. So going back to our uh, trip here, we see that the uh, commute to work from Tampa to Atlanta, the first option that will get me to Atlanta before my report time of 1935 uh, on April the 1st. So we can see that this flight uh, departs at 1615, arrives at 1750, which does get me in prior to the uh, duty time. And then it shows over here to the right that I have a one hour and 45 minute uh, turn time, if you will, after the arrival of the commute flight before I have to be uh, to report for duty. And if I tap on this row, it will open up the commute info screen. And these are the three flights that have been automatically retrieved for me as we set earlier in the settings. Um, you can change this to um, two or four or whatever you prefer. APDL is going to automatically show you the first one uh, on this uh, top row up here on the trip view. For this particular trip, my report time is 1935, and the third option here only arrives at 1924. So if I'm not feeling particularly risky this day, I could say ah, that's cutting a little too close. I don't want to consider Delta 2081 as a viable option for a commute on this day or for a backup. Because if it was delayed, I may get in late, and I don't want to do that. So uh, that's one reason you may want to display three instead of just two if two is what your company requires so you can eliminate that option and see whether what other options are there that will still uh, meet your criteria of what you consider to be viable commute options so what I can do is I can swipe to delete this particular option to say I don't consider that to be a viable option for me or if I wanted to I could say I don't want to use the first flight and I can swipe to delete that one and now that will change the one that's displayed on the trip view and now we can see that the commute row at the top of the trip view has uh, updated 
and it shows now I only have one hour and four minutes to make it to my report time after the arrival of my commute flight. If I want to manually search for a different time frame or a different date or uh, just want to see all the flights that are available rather than just the three that were default searched or searched for by default, I can uh, tap the top row there and change the departure destination, uh, change the time that it's searching for. In this case, 1935 is that zero minute buffer that we talked about in the options section. And I can filter by specific airlines if I don't want to use uh, all particular airlines that may be available from a certain airport, if I only want to limit it to my carrier, uh, for example. Down here at the bottom, uh, we can see the one flight, uh, Delta 2047, is the only one that's checked. That is the, uh, the one that's displayed on the previous page. I can check any more of these uh, that I like, and those will also be displayed. So let's just add a couple here and save. And then those are shown here on this quick view. Same thing works at the end of the trip. I uh, have the uh, first option displayed by default. I can tap this row and I can change um, the same things that we could on the previous page. I can swipe to delete one if I think that I don't want to use that one. I want to only display the other ones. Or I can change the time that it searches from or just view some extra ones here. As you see, there's a plus one on several of these, and that's uh, indicating that it is the next day since this is a uh, later evening arrival. APDL automatically searches to find the appropriate flights for your commute shortly before your trip. Additionally, starting 24 hours prior to that commute flight, it starts updating the flight details on a regular interval, or you can go to the commute page and swipe down to refresh the flight details manually. This will give you updated gate and delay information. I also wanted to point out you can change the destination or the departure airport for any of these on a one-off basis. For example, if you wanted to commute from work to a different airport than your normal commute airport uh, for, say, meeting your family on vacation after a trip or uh, traveling to see friends or whatever, or if you're commuting to a different airport than your normal domicile airport if you start with a deadhead and you're meeting your trip at a different airport rather than the beginning of the trip. So that covers the uh, commute options for commuters or regular commuters. We also have a similar tool but slightly different called Flight Search and what this does is basically uses the same functionality as the commute tool however it's not limited to your home airport and your domicile airport. So you can go retrieve the, all the flights that are taking place between a couple of airports uh, on a particular date and time if you may be planning a, a trip later or you want a non-rev or something like that. So let's just say for example if I wanted to go from LA to Vegas on let's say April the 1st starting around 10 a.m. all airlines I'll just do a search here, and here's our results for options between LA and Vegas starting at the time that we chose. So that's just a quick update for our latest release of APDL with the uh, long-awaited feature of commute tools for commuters. We hope you like this update. Thank you for using APDL. Thanks for watching.